Hello, people of Ijincho. Election day is tomorrow, and Sota Kume is here with a final campaign message. The Citizens Liberal Party is proud to endorse him. As the head of Yokohama's Bleach Japan branch, his attacks on the Gray Zone speak for themselves. We should all be inspired by how he persevered despite being ridiculed as an idealist many times in his career. But he stayed true to his beliefs, cleaned up our town, and has earned Governor Alki's deepest trust. It all led him to this campaign, which is not just about the second district. His support is national. He not only has Governor Alki's endorsement, but also that of Bleach Japan branches all across the country. The Citizens Liberal Party is the only party serious about cracking down on gray zones. Someday, every last one of them will be purged. With our support, Sota Kume and Ryo Aoki will see Japan reborn, clean, fair, and beautiful. So we beseech all of you to vote with courage. For the good of Japan, wash the gray away, bleach Japan clean. Everyone, please take a trip down memory lane with me for a second. Think back to two years ago, when nobody thought this city would ever be free of its criminal element. People said the new Kamaro police station would amount to little more than a street decoration. But now, look around you. The Tojo clan, a plague upon our city for countless years, is nowhere to be seen. Kamurocho's been completely reborn as a city that stands up for what is right. And if we can do it here, we can do it everywhere. Party Chair Aoki is the magician making crime disappear, and Bleach Japan is his magic wand. After this, you're scheduled to give a three-minute speech from the truck. Then we'll leave Shinjuku and be on our way, Mr. Oh. Hmm? What's the matter? I'm sorry, should I refer to you as party chair instead of governor? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It's tough when someone has two titles, isn't it? But you can keep calling me the governor if that's what you're used to. That work? <laughs> Certainly rolls off the tongue better anyway. Uh, of course, sir. Thank you for clearing that up. Will this be a live broadcast? Oh, yes. Some of these media outlets have been camped out here for your speech since noon. I see. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like I'm in a dream. Why? Well, I've been working my whole life to have this kind of influence. I slowly climbed up society's ladder, which, for politicians, has vipers slithering on every rung. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I avoided growing a pair of fangs myself. Oh. I don't believe you're the type to do that. <laughs> well, beliefs are different from the truth. Mr. Governor... It's not like I ever caused any harm. In truth, any laws I broke really didn't matter. And at least I had a real goal, unlike the others who made empty promises with no intent to keep them. Me? I actually believed in what I said. And now... Now you have the power to follow through on it, to do what's just. Governor, Sensei, your situation wasn't uncommon. Everyone's had to break a few eggs to make an omelet. When it's a noble ideal you're striving for, there are always sacrifices to be made. History proves that to us. Wow. Oh, I I'm sorry. That was out of line. No, I needed to hear that. Thank you. Well, they're waiting for me out there. 
They sure are. Go out there and show them just how noble your goals are, Governor. I will. Thank you for your patience, everyone. We appreciate you sticking around. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce our next honored guest. You all know him as the beloved governor of Tokyo, but now he's also the party chair of the CLP. He's been running around all over the country preparing for the big election tomorrow, but as always, he's made time for Kamurocho. Please give a warm welcome to Ryuaki. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please give yourselves a hand for coming out here tonight. Thank you, thank you. I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for all your passionate support. We couldn't do this without you. Excuse me, excuse me, good people of Kamurocho. My name is Ichiban Kasuga. talking about me like I died in an explosion in E.G. show, but I'm just fine. In fact, I feel great, and I couldn't pass up this chance to shake Governor Aoki's hand. It's fine. Let him through. I know you ordered Captain Sawashiro to kill Arakawa-san. Don't try to deny it. The captain told me so himself. In fact, he even said there's a recording of you given the order. And it's somewhere inside the Arakawa family office in the Millennium Tower. So we're going to do a little office raid tomorrow before the polls close. That recording's going to be plastered on every corner of the internet. We're going to ruin you, young master. If a recording like that actually existed, you wouldn't be warning me about it. You're bluffing. <laughs> if you think it's a bluff, that's no skin off my nose. You know, now I understand why Arakawa-san was so worried about you. Right up to the end. So was Sawashiro. You let it all go to your head, man. It's like you forgot what honor is. You think you can get away with anything. But you couldn't be more wrong. Hmm. <laughs> You know, elections are funny things. You never know what's gonna happen. That said, <laughs> I didn't see this twist coming. Kasuga declaring war on me. Of course, if I were him, I might have combed my hair before I got on national television. 
<laughs> Yo, Nick. How'd I look on TV? Smooth, huh? The plan went off without a hitch. Well, you got the public's attention. They're trending in tons of places online. But not in a positive way. No, I'm always gonna look like a villain next to the young master. But you know, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Someone's pleased with himself. Hell yeah, I am. The young master reacted just like I knew he would. Oh yeah? Okay, then. Well, I just found a new place. You need a hideout in Kamarocho, right? There's a bar called Earth Angel in the Champion District. I sort of know the mama there. Earth Angel, huh? Got it. I'll meet you there. Hmm. Yo. Hey, Nick. I think your friend's here. You know this guy, right? Hi, Ichiban. Hey, thanks for all the help. So did you really want to shake Alki's hand that bad? Or was there more to the plan? Yeah, it wasn't about the handshake. That was just stage one, man. Plenty more to come, now that the young master took the bait. Well, I still think stage two is more than a little shaky. Can someone fill me in on what it is already? Okay, so Aoki ordered Sawashiro to kill Masumi Arakawa. Our first move was to tell Aoki there's a recording of him giving that order in the Arakawa family office. What? Is there really? Of course not. Huh? It's bullshit, and he totally knows that. But the beauty of it is, he can't risk ignoring it. Because if there's even a 1% chance it's true, he goes to jail, and his whole life goes up in smoke. So now, he has to do a sweep of the captain's office. I'm sure they'll turn the whole Arakawa office upside down looking for it. Not just Sawashiro's. Yeah, plus I told them we were planning to go get the recording. I said we'd do that before the polls close tomorrow. Which means Aoki is gonna be desperate to find that data before we do. No doubt he's gonna throw some serious manpower at the task. Think of the scene at the Millennium Tower tonight. It's gonna be swarming with Omi Yakuza. But then what? Well, they can search all night and of course they won't find shit. But Aoki won't be satisfied. After his minions turn up empty-handed, he's gonna send his biggest, baddest dude. Tendo, right? Yep. The guy who killed Arakawa-san. Not to mention he tried to blow us up, too. We would have been screwed if Adachi-san hadn't noticed something was off. Kasuga, we need to go! Huh? Everyone, get out! True. Add that to the pile of reasons to take revenge on Tendo. But what do we do about Aoki? We'll get to him, but he can take a fucking number. Tendo was the highest name on my shit list. You really think he'll show up at the tower? Right now, he's basically the leader of the Tokyo Omi Alliance. So he's desperate for the recording, too. He'll show up when they don't find it. 
I think it's a solid plan. And besides, does anybody have a better idea? Nope. And I wish I'd come up with this one. What use am I if all the good ideas are coming out of Kasuga's head? I have the same problem. Good plan or not, I wouldn't count on Aoki and Tendo waiting until tomorrow. I think they're gonna come and take care of you first chance they get. In case you forgot, you're on enemy turf here in Kamurocho. <laughs> you set foot outside, and every cat in this town will pounce on you like a mouse. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I've been sitting on my hands so long I'm down to warm up with some cats before I take on the lions. Really? I gotta go through the Arakara office with a fine-toothed comb for this shit? Correct. Sounds to me like me and my guys are cleaning up after your mistake. Yes, you are. Do you need every order I give you explained in minute detail? Sorry I'm not on the same wavelength you and Sawashiro were. <sighs> I'm guessing Kasuga survived after all, huh? That's a loose end I'm actually glad to tie up for you. And this time, I'll make sure it never unravels. Any objections? Oh, now you want to be careful and not say naughty stuff out loud. Worried there's a recorder nearby, huh? Smart man. I'll just say one thing. Yeah? If anything ever happens to me, your little Omi Alliance fun patrol is dead in the water. This castle you've built is on pillars of sand. Without me, those pillars all turn to mud. The same can't be said of you. I can replace you in a heartbeat, as many times as I need. We are not on equal ground, Tendo. <laughs> what? Think I don't know any of this? You should realize, though, we're just getting started. The Tokyo Omi Alliance is gonna earn your respect. Trust me. You can earn it by just focusing on the job you have now, protecting me, which is in your best interest anyway. See how these things go together? As long as I'm your top priority, I'll continue to seek your services. It's that simple. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But Aoki-sensei... What is it? Someday, I think you're gonna see the value of our services. You'll come around. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mako-chan! Time has not been kind to you. 
He was a real jerk to you too, Adachi-san. It's been a while. Who's this? The rarest of creatures. A detective you can actually trust. His name's Makoto Date. So you're Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> Rumors are true. You got eyes just like he did back in the day. Like who did? An old friend. Nobody you would know. Anyway, I hear you're trying to keep a low profile. Well, you couldn't ask for a better spot. Go on, get some rest. It's late. You sure? Any friend of Adachi Senpai is a friend of mine. From what I've heard, you've got a big day tomorrow. Do what you need here to rest up. Wow. Thanks a bunch, man. Take care. Appreciate it, Mako-chan. Sorry to get you wrapped up in this. <sighs> this is a walk in the park compared to the shenanigans I usually get roped into. <laughs> Good luck, Ichiban Kasuga. You too! Good morning, Ichiban. TV says the polls are already open. I wonder if anyone's put a check next to your name yet. Oh, I'm sure someone's done that as a joke by now. <laughs> or a pity vote. Hey, Ichiban. Hmm? We're ready to go when you are. The Millennium Tower is standing there like a big old beacon. Of course, once you step inside, remember... That's an act of war against Ryo Aoki and the Omi Alliance. Yep. If we go in, there's no going back. You probably better tie up any loose ends first, Ichiban. <laughs> This is Nick. So, oh, finally going to invade the Millennium Tower. How'd you... Are you watching us or something? Through a screen, yeah. One of my guys is streaming a video of you to my computer. Okay. And? Well, Tendo himself went inside the place, just like you predicted. That was two hours ago. He'll be in there. Oh, yeah? Awesome. Thanks, man. Hey, Ichiban. This is your Demon Lord's Tower. And Tendo's waiting for you on the top floor. I'll be listening for the victory theme, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Let's go! 
Looks like they brought out the welcoming party. You guys ready for this shit? Here we go! Show me what you've got. Well... Let's go! I'll take it. <laughs> Moving up. <sighs> I think that's all of them. Is it going to be like this the whole way up? Heck no. That'd be insane. <laughs> then again, we are on their radar now. Yeah, there's no telling what's ahead. Stay alert, people. <laughs> Should I open it? Sweet! Supplements or stimulants of some kind. Yep, there's definitely a mini boss ahead. Show me what you've got. Should I open it? Got it! Well... 
our way up more stairs oh we're really gonna take these the whole way well yeah that's what they're there for Ugh, my feet are gonna kill me I'd love to explore other options but there aren't any we just gotta suck it up and go oh fine Well, 
Let's go. Who wants to go? Right. Nice. Nice. Sweet. Watch me. I got this. Time to clear the way. It's easy, I'm afraid. I feel the stats Look going up. Go. <laughs> Take it. Moving up in the world. Should I open it? Sweet! Find what you were looking for, Tendo. Oh, you mean a recording of Rio Aoki ordering someone to take out Arakawa? Even if that actually existed, it wouldn't prove shit, and you fucking know it. And yet Aoki just couldn't let sleeping dogs lie. All on the off chance the tape might be real, so he sent your sorry ass. And now your trap is sprung, huh? Sounds like you finally put two and two together. <laughs> there never was any recording at all, was there, you little punk? Sawashiro never would have betrayed him. The captain was loyal to the young master to the end. But Aoki and you are such assholes, I wouldn't expect you to understand loyalty like that. So if there was never a tape, your real goal must have been... <laughs> I see it now. You're here to take a swing at the champ. You must have finally figured out whose fists were the real threat in the ring. You know, back in Sotenbori, we were pretty damn excited when you stepped across the line. If only Arakawa-san had known the truth. <laughs> I guess your patriarch was playing everyone and didn't stop to wonder if he was getting played. Still, I ought to be grateful Masumi Arakawa turned out to be a spy. He finally gave me my chance. A chance to climb my way to the top. I can't say I ever had that in my boxing days, no matter how many guys I took out. <laughs> Thank him for me in the afterlife. Tendo. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I remember that day. I was watching him struggle to breathe with the hole I put in his chest. Took a minute, 
but I got to look straight into his eyes as he left this world. Wanna know the last thing Arakawa saw before he bled out on the street? It was me, sending him off with a wink and a smile. My parting gift to him was showing him that in the end, there's no such thing as loyalty. Shut your fucking mouth. Piece of shit! I'm shit. What's that make you being so bland born and dumpster raised, huh, Ichiban Kasuga? Well, I gotta hand it to you. You must have had a pair of brass balls to make it this far. Such a shame. I'm gonna have to string you up by him. You were never gonna climb up here and make it out alive. You think you're a hero? After all that work, your level ain't shit compared to mine. It is here! Try this! Tendo. Oh, yeah. You were talking about him back in Sotenbori. He's that badass, huh? Uh-huh. Back when he was a boxer, he had it all. Power and fame. Out of all the boxers I ever saw, he is the last one I'd want to face in a fight. I don't give a single fuck about his boxing record. I just want to knock his ass out. Watch me. You're in it now. Let's go. Let's go, Sarah. Rick, You're in. About to dish out something spicy. If you're in front of him, watch out! Watch out, how? I don't know, just block! Make defensive moves, be ready for anything! now seriously isn't this a little overkill holy shit that glass was really thick and he obliterated it if he hits us uh we're dead then don't let him hit you i'll drown you who wants to go? go i'm up Looks like he went on the defense. But he's not just guarding. He's charging up, too. When it's done, he's gonna go nuclear. <laughs> he's finally playing his trump card, huh? Back when he did this in the ring, nobody ever managed to stop it. But if we could... Then we got a chance of winning this. Yeah. I mean, I don't know for sure. But we've gotta try to throw him off. Then that's the plan. 
Don't pull any punches, guys. Well. Just yet, Tendo. Before you go, I'm gonna make you feel just how strong my loyalty to Arakawa is! Kasuga! of this house election. You secured well over two-thirds of the seats. The people have chosen the Citizens' Liberal Party, and with that, we have our mandate. Prime Minister, how significant was Party Chair Aoki's role in this? Very, without a doubt. This election came on the heels of Ogikubo-san's retirement, and Aoki-san's achievements were on the citizens' minds. Party Chair Aoki, how would you respond to that assertion? The Citizens' Liberal Party is a herald of great change. We've always shown our passion for improving the country. And now it's time to show the people that we're willing to put in the work. Wherever a gray zone's shadow darkens the land, we'll shine light on it. We will succeed where others fail. We will not sit back and tolerate criminals while lining our own pockets. These are my principles. They are the reason I founded Bleach Japan 20 years ago. And I'm proud to say they are the same today. Uh, hmm? What is it? Party Chair, do you have any comments about this report? It says you're wanted for murder. It's a mistake, obviously. Some absurd claim by people who have a political agenda against me. And everyone! Please, remain in your seats as we look into this allegation. You're trending, sir. The buzz on social media is that Ryo Aoki isn't even your real name. Is that true? They're saying your real name is Masato Arakawa. In Yokohama the other day, a gang leader named Masumi Arakawa was killed. Could it be that he was your father? <laughs> You can't just walk away, face the public, and explain. I saw it on your face! You recognize the name Masato Arakawa! Party chair! Is Ryo Aoki your true name? I told you, Tendo isn't picking up. I've called him several times already. And there's no answer at the Arakawa family office either. And you, Commissioner, what the hell's going on? Why is there a warrant for my arrest? I'm looking into that. The news report might not have gone out yet. It's possible it only got broadcast at the Citizens' Liberal Party headquarters. I'm trying to confirm. Even if that's the case, it was a live broadcast. So what's the difference? Plenty of people saw that damn ticker. I need to be able to explain who did that and why immediately. This is just a snack, so don't do anything rash. I think you should avoid the Millennium Tower, too. I can't avoid it! 
Vichiban Kasuga finds that evidence at the Arakawa family office, this is more than just a snag. And it'd be hell for you too, by the way. You'd have to cover for me. The risk is too high to ignore. I still can't get in touch with Tindo-san, but I managed to talk to some men who said they were going to the tower. Fine. Assign a few of the strongest ones to act as my personal guard. Yes, sir. Understood. Ichiban was behind all this? Really? Tendo? Huh? Hey. Why the fuck weren't you picking up your phone? As you can see, I was a little busy. Where's a recording? I want this over and done with. There is no recording. It was a bluff. A bluff. I see. So it was just a bluff. <laughs> I knew it would be. <laughs> so, we done here or not? No. Not yet. We know he must still have accomplices out there somewhere. At the very least, someone who ran that ticker at the same time as the votes were being counted. And we know someone must have been hiding him after the explosion in Ijincho. I refuse to tolerate any chance of another close shave like this. So, what's your call here? Hunt them all down. Kill them. Make sure the bodies are never found. Do whatever it takes. I don't want even the slightest chance of any of them getting back up. And crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. Well, how'd you like my performance? I could have won an award for that one, Kasuga. Right? Maybe I should go do some auditions. <laughs> so, what'd you think? I Ichiba, how, how, how did you. Young master. You know me. I hate dying. <laughs> Tendo! Should've checked your blind spot, Aoki-sensei. You hired me. And then you made the mistake of treating me like I was some kind of disposable peon. Huh? What do you mean? What are you talking about? There are two Tendos. I'm impressed. Mirror Face really is the perfect name for you, man. Mirror Face? That's what they call me. I can make myself look like anybody I want to. <sighs> wow. This is gonna make one hell of a headline. Tokyo Governor orders Yakuza to murder political rival Ichiban Kasuga and his supporters. Scoop of the year. I got the whole thing on video. Should I go ahead and post it online? Where at? No! Stop Enough! it! This is as far as you go, young master. It's time. Ichiban! Did you... Really plan all this? Your dumbass? I was bluffing when I told you about the tape recording. That was just to lure out Tendo. But I've known you for years. 
I was pretty sure you wouldn't be satisfied. Not until you saw the results for yourself. You think you can predict what I'm going to do next. But in the end, I know you better than you know me. You shut your damn mouth. Young master. I had to do this. It was the only way I could stop you. It's sad. And I know it hurts. But I don't think you even know how to stop yourself. What? You only became the governor and a person of influence so that you could get back at an old girlfriend and the police commissioner. But what did you really even get out of that? Now you've pushed everyone who was important to you away. You were blinded by having more power than you knew what to do with. What happened to you? You don't even realize what you've lost. You really thought the only solution was to keep killing anyone who threatened your power in even the smallest way? How could you be that stupid? Why the fuck would you want that kind of life? <sighs> you don't know sh shit about me. But I'm right, aren't I? Just admit it. Even if you are, I just need to keep moving forward. And after tonight, no one can stop me. No. I'll stop you. No matter what. Men! Kill them all! Leave no one alive! Make sure they're dead. Got that? Watch me. Bring them over here. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Nathan, look at Guards have him completely yet? protected. Yeah, can't hit him while he's got that kind of meat shield. We just have to do this the old fashioned way. Pick him off one by one. Watch me. Let's go. Let's Eyes go. on me. Right. Get a lot. Back to the real fight. I'm over here. Well, I got this. Take your best shot. I feel the stats going up. Look at me go. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Everyone all right? Can't say that I am really. If only I could move like I did 20 years back. My body doesn't always do what I want anymore. Shh, 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 no, let's not look at things like that. Hang in there, everyone. I know it hurts, but... Forget about that. Listen, Ichiban, you have to go catch up with Aoki. Huh? Aoki's by himself right now. This is your chance to give him what he deserves. Go on, Ichiban. Don't worry, we can handle ourselves. But what if... Do you really think so little of us? Yeah, we're not that weak. Believe it or not, we actually can survive without you. Thought we might have proved that by now. You guys... Go settle this, Ichiban. Show him how everything he's put you through has only made you stronger. Yeah, I like that. 
I'll settle it once and for all. You're all the best friends I've ever had. Thanks, guys! You think you can defeat me, unarmed, one-on-one? -on -one? Still so cocky! <laughs> now we're talking. I'll wipe that stupid grin off your face, and leave it bloody on the floor. You don't get to do this to me! You fuck! It's over. nation on the right path. I can use my power. I've seen the light. And then... And then... And then what? What's that have to do with anything? And then I can... make Japan so much more Beautiful. I could. I could do that. That's... That's what the masses want. They want... Peace and prosperity. And I can give it to them. But... The reality is... You just do whatever you want and make other people clean up after you. No matter who you claim to be now, 
If anyone disagrees with you, even a little, you toss them aside like they mean nothing. I already know you're just gonna keep using the state of Japan as an excuse to kill the people around you, just like you did with your father. If I hadn't done anything, you would have killed Captain Sawashiro, even after he served you for more than 20 years. There are two types of people in this world. Those who use, and those who get used. In other words, people who can make a difference. And people who are just tools in their hands. Like your father. He was just one of many tools. Useful while it lasted. I didn't need him anymore. So what you're saying is that it's fine for certain people to be sacrificed once they've outgrown their use to you? <laughs> Are you finally getting the picture? Like hell I am! You and me were like light and shadow, born on the same day. You're the light. Harakawa's heir and legitimate son, who was always given everything I ever wanted. You had all of that from birth. What the hell happened? What changed you? Why'd you turn out like this? This is the police! Nobody move a muscle! Kasuga, these aren't just beat cops. They probably report directly to the commissioner. Sir, what's going on here? Why don't you start over from scratch? Come on. That's exactly what you need to do. I know you can crawl back up if you just put in the work. I believe in you. I swear I'll stand by your side the whole time. Just like the old days, for as long as it takes, we can do it together. It'd be an honor. You know something? Back when I first joined the family, I promised Arakawa-san that I'd always be there to support you. As you already know, Tendo tried to use a bomb to kill us back in Ijincho. He did all that under the orders of Ryo Aoki. We have video evidence of Aoki's reaction when he found out we were still alive. See for yourself. We know he must still have accomplices out there somewhere. At the very least, someone who ran that ticker at the same time as the votes were being counted. And we know someone must have been hiding him after the explosion in Ijincho. I refuse to tolerate any chance of another close shave like this. So, what's your call here? Hunt them all down. Kill them. Make sure the bodies are never found. Do whatever it takes. I don't want even the slightest chance of any of them getting back up and crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. This video is already making its rounds on the internet. The Citizens Liberal Party must have more enemies than they think they do, because it's going viral even as we speak. I think it's fair to say we'll need to consult with the Commissioner on this one. Things aren't looking good for you, Mr. Governor. We'll need to take you into custody. Why don't you come with us to the precinct?
stay back. Take one step, and I blow his fucking brains out. Your master, don't do this. You want me to give up everything I've built because of some stupid thing Arakawa told you 20 years ago? All this patriarch and old bullshit. I've always hated how you Yakuza act like you're one big happy family. You go on about duty and honor, and I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it! Put the gun down, young master, please. If you take a police officer hostage, they're going to kill you, no matter who you are. I... I don't want to see any more of my family die. Family? <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm not your fucking family. No matter what you say, I'll always consider you part of my family. You were the first friend I ever had in my whole life. I wish I could have stopped you. I should have stopped you from losing control. But I didn't. And now we've both lost Arakawa-san forever. So please, don't do this. I couldn't take losing you too. You can still come back. I'm begging you. You just like him. <sighs> Every single damn thing that comes out of your mouth just reminds me of my fucking father. Which is exactly why I never liked you in the first place. <laughs> I told you. I've known you for 20 odd years. I figured you'd come here. Call it a hunch. I thought maybe some of my words managed to get through to you. Maybe you actually did decide to start over from the bottom and work your way back up. I figured if you did, You'd come back to where Arakawa-san first found you. Where our stories began. You don't have any idea what I'm going through. I'm tired of your shit, Ichiban. All we're doing here is having a conversation. So come on. 
The gun's really not necessary. Why don't you stop pointing that thing and give it to me? who broke my heart and betrayed me on that New Year's Eve 18 years ago. That night changed our lives forever. Oh. She ended up marrying Horinuchi, you know? Before I became governor, I attended a celebration of his appointment to police commissioner. She was there. She didn't recognize me. Everything about me was so different. Do you know what she said to me? You won't believe it. Oh my. You're so sophisticated and intelligent for a man your age. Crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking incredible. That damn woman. She was so scared of me. And she calls me a gentleman? What kind of bullshit is that? I swear you couldn't make this shit up! Hilarious, don't you think? That's okay. In the end, that's all it amounted to. The power I changed my name for, changed my body for, the power I chased with such blind passion, I killed for it. I started off in life with a weak, ugly body that embarrassed me. I worked hard to improve myself. But after all that, I still wasn't happy because no one appreciated who I really was on the inside. That's not true, young master. The boss, I mean, Arakawa-san and Captain Sawashiro both cared about you. They always put you first in everything they did. Same for me. After I got out of prison, the first time I saw you was in a picture. I knew it was you right away. There was no mistaking it. I'd recognize your face anywhere. Because I care about you, too! <laughs> Are you lecturing me again about how important family is? No! It's not a lecture! Did you ever stop to think why Arakawa-san, Captain Sawashiro, and I never gave up on you? No matter how much bad shit you dragged us into! Let me tell you... It wasn't easy! But we did it anyway, because we're all connected, deep inside our hearts. You see things in black and white, but family's not that simple. No one appreciated you for who you are? Bullshit! We were always there for you. We would have done anything for you, gone to hell and back. All you had to do was ask! When will you believe me when I say the three of us loved you? Or are you just gonna keep pointing that gun on your head like a dumbass? Ichi. This may not be what you want to hear, but you know, I consider you my brother, man. That means something to me. Don't make me watch my brother die. Please. I can't do it. Boss, 
Sutu. Yes, Aoki san. I put my faith in you. I believed your words. I thought you would lead us down a noble path, bleached pure and clean. <laughs> but it's not too late. True righteousness will triumph. Glad you decided to show up, Horinouchi-san. Of course. You must be him. The man who sent me that anonymous tip. As I recall, you're Kanagawa police. The name's Adachi. I was at the driver's license center, but I was dishonorably discharged just before I hit retirement. Hmm. Hey, you know, this didn't happen too long ago. Don't tell me you don't remember me. Your point? I'm a very busy man, you know. Don't waste my time, please. Look, you said there was a crime the Tokyo Omi Alliance had gone unpunished for. Can we get to that? <sighs> I, uh, found some pretty explosive evidence at the Arakawa family office in the Millennium Tower. I'm not sure if you know this, but... Supposedly, there was an audio recording somewhere in the office that would implicate Governor Aoki in Masumi Arakawa's murder. But that was just a bluff by Ichiban Kasuga and his accomplices. It was bait to lure out Tendo and the governor. 
A trap to record Aoki admitting to his crimes. I knew you'd have a good grasp of it. Oh, you brought company. These guys your subordinates? I'm the police commissioner. Every officer is my subordinate. <laughs> Fair enough. What's that? The recording might have been a hoax, but when Tendo and the Omi searched the family office, they found... something else that was very interesting. Simply put, it's a list of shady characters who are on the Arakawa family payroll. Is it? Apparently, not long after the Kamrocho 3K plan started, Masumi Arakawa transferred a total of 300 million yen to various officials in public roles. Shame he was killed the other day, huh? You know, I think he could have explained in detail what all these obvious bribes were about. But at least we have this list here which shows exactly into whose hands each yen landed. That's right. The whole list is here. It was all on Captain Sawashiro's computer. Great news for us, don't you think? <clears throat> What's up? Oh, you're looking kind of pale, Commissioner. Is something wrong? Masumi Arakawa's 300 mil took crazy complicated routes through a bunch of foreign bank accounts. Eventually found its way to you and other high-ranking officers. I know it was all in exchange for turning a blind eye toward the Omi Alliance activities in Kamrocho. But for real, I gotta hand it to Arakawa for hiding the flow of this money so well, but lucky for us, this list makes it pretty clear. So, all we need is some supporting evidence. And then the arrests from this little guy are gonna knock out dozens of top officials, including you, police commissioner. Arrest this man! Confiscate whatever you find on him! What's wrong? Those are my orders! Struggle all you want. It's too late now. You moron. I already sent this to the Inspector General at Police HQ. That's right. Toss the same thing over to the media so your time's running out. Tick tock, Commissioner. You're bluffing. This whole scheme wouldn't benefit you at all. You'd be just as poor afterward as you are now. No, this isn't a bluff, unfortunately for you. It's a victory for me. Commissioner, the Inspector General is eager to have a word with you. What? I'm sure you didn't take the money purely for personal gain. You had a duty to protect the peace in Kamrocho. After the Tojo clan disappeared, you had no choice but to allow the Omi to take over and stabilize the area. In that sense, you might have even felt you were justified in taking the bribe because of the position you were in. I feel for you. You were caught between a rock and a hard place, weren't you? But on the other hand, sir... What? What a coincidence that doing the right thing for the city also happened to line your own pockets. How much was it exactly? One mil? Ten mil? Even more? Well, I'm sure we'll find out once we analyze the data. You handed out bribe money to avoid taking responsibility for the city's crime rate. Plus, you even got to skim some for yourself. People who have so much always want more. <clears throat> Why don't you just admit you did it to save your own damn skin? Just like the old days, eh, Horino Uchi? Bastard. You know, I've been waiting for years to see exactly that look on your face. This is a trap! A conspiracy! I won't stand for it! Let go of me! I order you to let go of me! Oh yeah! Mind if I ask you one more thing? Do you remember New Year's Eve 18 years ago? There was this rude Yakuza who cock-blocked you from your own wife at a hostess club in Kamrojo. What did you say? <sighs> Never mind.
Nein. Ichiban, Joe Sawashiro received his sentence. He got life in prison. Yeah. In fact, I was just telling the boss all about how everything shook out. It's just tragic. Masato Arakawa died without ever knowing Sawashiro was his father. And Masami Arakawa died without ever knowing what happened at the lockers that night. And that you were his real son. A DNA test? Yeah. Why not? It's the only way to prove once and for all if Arakawa really was your dad. Don't you want to know for sure? Otherwise, you're gonna have doubts for the rest of your life. I mean, if I were in your shoes, I'd want to know. Not me, man. The way I see it, I have two dads. Huh? My fathers are Jiro Kasuga, owner of Shangri-La, and Masumi Arakawa. It doesn't matter which one I'm related to by blood. Nothing can change the fact that they both raised me and made me who I am today. I don't need a test. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's something, man. Huh? There you are. What are you guys doing in here? The services are starting. Let's go say goodbye to the Arakawas. All right, let's go. Kasuga, good to see you. Likewise. I heard about what you've been up to. You started a security company in Sotenbori. Yeah, that's right. We had to do something for all the guys who had their rugs swept out from under them. Their yak is in the wind. I saw it all coming, so I wanted to give them somewhere to go. Originally, Harakawa san was supposed to help us put the whole plan in motion. Yeah. I heard something about that. Well, what's your next move, Kasuga? You with us? Yeah, sounds like your dad had some unfinished business. Why don't you come to Osaka and wrap this up for him? <laughs> I think hell just froze over. The mad dog of Shimano is giving perfectly reasonable advice. Don't get used to it. Today's an exception. Tomorrow it's back to balls out. <sighs> uh. 
I appreciate the invitation, but I can't. Eugene Cho is my home. Looking back on it, in Kamrocho, I was drifting all by myself. But here in this town, I found my people, and nothing can replace them. You see, I owe them, and I need to pay them all back for what they did for me. Eugene Cho and Soten Bori should be places where people can go when they're lost. Safe havens when there's nowhere left to turn. So you see, <laughs> I can take care of the boss's unfinished business right where I am now. That's my plan anyway. <sighs> I get it. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Boss. Young master. What the? What are all you guys doing here? Well, Namba here was all worried about you. He thought the ex-Tojo guys might be looking to snatch you up, Kasuga-kun. Hey, I said to keep that shit on the down low. So, what'd you say to those old thugs? You gonna leave town and forget all about us little guys? Uh, Zachan? How about you tell him? What? I can't say all that mushy shit again while I'm sober. <sighs> well... <laughs> wow, I didn't think he loved us that much. Did he say it just like that? How cute. Sounds like the Kasuga-san I know. Finally. I've gotten to a point in my life where I can't be replaced. What an honor. Hey, <laughs> as long as I'm in there, he's got good taste. <laughs> Once you're at rock bottom, the only place to go is up. There's no shame in being at the bottom. All that matters is how you decide to climb back out of the darkness. There's always a ray of hope up there. I was lucky to learn that from you, young master. Mm -hmm.